In today's video, I'm going to be breaking down Victor Webanyama and how he plays basketball. This is the latest scouting report for him in 2021, so let's get down, let's check out what makes him such an amazing player and how you can incorporate what he does into your own game so you can become better yourselves. Let's get down, let's check him out. So first off, Victor Webanyama is a fantastic defender. He can go play help defense, sky for the block, check out how high he can jump. He gets his hand well above the block on the basket. This is ridiculous how high he can jump, but also his height. He has a 7 foot 9 wingspan, which is huge. So of course that does help him with the ability to block shots but at the same time his ability to get to the locations to block those shots is extremely good we can see this here where he doesn't try to overreach on a player trying to get the offensive rebound he would just rather wait there to just block his shot later and then hits it out to another player his court vision is extremely high level he doesn't try to get the over the back foul he would rather just wait and then just block it later and then hit the ball towards his teammate and then dribble down court this is fantastic. He can handle the ball. He can run the floor. He can also sky up for alley-oops. He can get into position to do so. He knows by calling out with his hand up that this player is going out to defend here. This player is defending here. Nobody's guarding him. Passing the ball, he'll slam it down. He has the court vision to be very elite someday. Also, his ability to read the floor is extremely high level. This was a 2-3 three, three defense. We have a defender who is popping up to defend the wing three we have the center popping up to be able to protect the 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 player driving towards the key victor webb and yema is able to sit down in the low post and of course be wide open for the dunk now this all happened because he cut down from the low block into the what i call the russian spot and many older canadian coaches call the russian spot because that is a killer spot in a zone if you can get that ball to the high post against a 2-3 zone and you can sit somewhere behind the backboard in that area you can get high to low passes extremely easily and Victor Webanyama knows that. Now I just really want to have you watch this off ball movement. He comes off of a screen and cuts down towards the key. From there the ball goes towards the opposite side. We have this player cutting down towards the low block. We have Victor Webanyama cutting up towards the elbow up to the free throw line. But then this shot goes up. Well guess what? These players are all paying attention to that ball. This player is about to box out here. Nobody's boxing out anyone going down the middle of the key and because of that he's able to recognize that he's able to run that floor and he's able to finish with the tip slam this is very high level knowledge for somebody who is only 17 years old again against a 2-3 zone we see the same thing happen the center man pops up this man was originally protecting the baseline but then there's a three-point shooter who was wide open he was more worried about a three-point shooter than somebody who was going to get an easy two and that's what happened he was able to get into the rush spot he was able to finish with a massive dunk his passing ability is also very good off of this horn set they're able to get a quick high to low pass down into the paint check this out as soon as he catches that ball as soon as he catches it he's looking he's understanding hey we've got three players outside of the three we got a player who's rolling with the wings that this guy has no reason to be that close to that man out there that's the weak side and of course that just absolutely opens up the whole middle of the key for the rolling player victor was able to see that he was able to cap capitalize to get himself an assist and his teammate two point and he's able to capitalize on dribbling the ball handling the ball pulling defenses towards him and his teammates are also very good with court vision being able to cut back door he's able to see that and that player is able to finish with a layup see when you're playing against a zone defense if you can get that ball into the key what's going to happen is you're going to collapse the defense everyone's going to be paying attention to you and if you're playing a five out offense against a zone and you have a player who just drove to towards the key if you see an opening between players of course take that opening if especially if your teammates are smart enough to pass you the ball and are good enough court vision wise to see you you're going to be really able to capitalize on some easy baskets and then see this again a zone defense collapses the defense by driving victor is able to see that cuts baseline and then his teammates able to find him so that he can finish with a dunk by being able to move off ball you can really change your game around to become one of the best players on the floor also check this out 
I'll rewind this just a bit. He gets that ball into the middle of the key. He has multiple players looking at him. Nobody is looking at these two players out on the perimeter. So because of that, he's able to go and pass that ball out to the three-point shot to get his team a three-point shot because a three, a set three is a lot higher of a percentage shot than him trying to kind of turn around in a jump shot and that's just so much easier out there. By the way, did I mention that he could shoot? He can shoot so well. Chet Holgram is another one, seven footer who can shoot. This is Steph Curry range. And of course he has that high release. Check out that arc, ridiculous. Check out his soft release. This is going to be a very, very interesting player in a few years. If you're mixing a player like Nikolai Jokic in with a Kevin Durant, in with a Rudy Gobert, in with a Steph Curry, that is essentially what you're getting in a Victor Webanyama. It's a very interesting combination, especially considering that he has a 7 foot 9 wingspan. It's amazing. I am excited to see him in the future. I hope that you've enjoyed today's video. I hope that this video has helped you become a better basketball player. If it has, hit that like button, subscribe, go check out all of the equipment down below in the description, and I'll see you guys again next time.